Continuing with uh, chapter, uh, chapter 5, we are going to uh, continue talking about disaster recovery planning. The disaster recovery planning DRP is planning uh, the preparation uh, for and recovery from a disaster, whether natural or man made. The contingency planning team must decide uh, which actions uh, constitute disastrous and which constitute incidents. At the time that uh, a decision is made and the situation is classified as a disaster, the organization may change how it's uh, responding and take action to secure its most valuable assets to preserve value for a l the longer term, even uh, at the risk of more disruption in the immediate term. Uh, again, the key emphasis of the DRP is to establish operations uh, at the primary site, uh, the location at which the organization performs its business. The goal is to uh, make things whole or as uh, they were before the disaster. Business continuity planning uh, outlines uh, re-establishment of critical business operations during a disaster that impacts operations at the primary site. If there was a major impact on the current location of the business and operations cannot be continued, uh, there must be a plan to allow the business to continue to function in a different place, different location, or uh, some other uh, arrangements. Manager, uh, managers will include in the business continuity plan a continuity strategy that integrates off-site data storage and recovery functions. There are a number of strategies that an organization can choose from when planning for business continuity. Uh, the determining factor is uh, uh, or in the selection between these uh, options is usually the cost. In general, uh, there are three exclusive options. We look at hot sites, warm sites, and cold sites. And there are three shared functions. The timeshare, which is a hot, uh, warm, or cold site that is leased in uh, congestion with a business partner or sister organization. Uh, service uh, bureaus, an agency that provides a service for a fee a mutual agreement, a contract between two or more organizations that specifies how each will assist the other in the event of a disaster. To get off-site disaster uh, data storage types of sites uh, up the, uh, and running quickly, the organization must have the ability to port data into the new sites uh, system. There are a number of options for getting operations up and running quickly and some of these options can be used uh, for purposes uh, other than uh, restoration of continuity. This includes electronic uh, vaulting, uh, the bulk patch uh, transfer of data to an uh, off-site uh, facility, remote journaling, uh, the transfer of live transactions to an off-site uh, facility only transactions are transferred not uh, archived data uh, the transfer is real time uh, database shadowing uh, not only processing uh, duplicate real time data storage but also duplicating the data set uh, or databases at the remote site uh, to multiple servers uh, crisis management includes the actions taken during and uh, after, uh, during and after a disaster. It focuses uh, first and foremost on the people involved and addresses uh, the, the valuability or uh, viability of the business. How valuable is the business? The uh, crisis management team is uh, responsible for managing the event from an enterprise perspective and covers uh, supporting uh, personnel and their loved ones uh, during the crisis, determining the event's impact on uh, normal business operations and, if necessary, making a disaster uh, declaration, keeping the public informed about the event and uh, the actions being taken to ensure the recovery of personnel and uh, the 
uh, enterprise and communicating with major customers, suppliers, partners uh, regularly, to, uh, regularly uh, uh, dealing with them or um, uh, other agencies, uh, industry organizations and the media and other uh, interested parties to uh, inform them about uh, the situation of the disaster in the company. The model presented for a consolidated contingency plan is based on analysis of a disaster recovery and incident response plans of dozens of organizations. Uh, the planning process, uh, there are six steps in the contingency planning process. Uh, first, uh, identifying the mission or business critical functions, uh, identifying the resources that uh, support the cr critical functions, uh, anticipating uh, potential contingencies or uh, disasters, uh, selecting uh, contingency planning strategies, uh, implementing the contingency strategies, and testing and uh, revising the strategy. The uh, planning document will include before, during, and after the incident. Uh, in the before the incident, drafts uh, or draft uh, those tasks that must be performed to pre prepare the, uh, for the incident. These are the details of the data backed up uh, schedules, uh, the disaster recovery preparation, training schedules, testing plans, uh, copies of service uh, agreement and business continuity plans, uh, if any. During the incident, uh, the developed document or a document will be developed uh, with the procedures that must be performed during the incident, and um, we have group procedures and assigned uh, uh, individuals to certain tasks. Each member of the planning com uh, committee begins to draft a set of function specific procedures. Uh, after the incidents, uh, 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 there is a procedure that's been developed uh, which must uh, uh, address the performance of immediately after the incidents uh, tasks uh, or uh, actions. Uh, again, it separates the functional area uh, which may develop a different procedure uh, for themselves. Uh, Finally, the IR uh, portion of the plan is assembled, uh, sections detailing the organization, uh, DRP, the disaster uh, response planning, and uh, the business continuity planning uh, efforts are uh, placed after the incident response sections. Uh, critical information as outlined in, the, in these planning sections are uh, recorded, including information on alternate uh, sites um, and other uh, needed information. As indicated in the before the incident section uh, uh, applicable to uh, the disaster recovery and business continuity efforts. And there are multiple copies for each functional area uh, that's been created, uh, cataloged, and signed out to responsible individuals to take action uh, for the before, after, and uh, during. There may, co uh, there may be a um, uh, time uh, when it has uh, been determined that the incident at uh, hand exceeds the violation uh, of policy and uh, constitute a violation of law. Uh, the organization may determine uh, that involving law enforcement is necessary. Uh, but uh, before we do that, there are several questions that must be uh, answered. When, uh, when should the organization get law enforcement involved? and what level of law enforcement agency should be uh, involved, like uh, local authorities, state authorities, or federal authorities? And what will happen when the law enforcement agency is involved? Some of these questions are best answered by the organization's legal department. Uh, involving law, law enforcement uh, has both advantages and disadvantages. As an advantage, the agencies may uh, be much better equipped at processing evidence than a particular organization. Uh, unless the security forces in the organization have been trained in processing evidence and computer forensic, uh, they may do more harm than good in uh, extracting the necessary information to legally uh, convict uh, a suspected uh, criminal.
Law enforcement agencies are also prepared to handle the uh, warrants and uh, uh, subpoenas uh, necessary to uh, documenting a case. There are also uh, uh, adept at obtaining uh, statements from witnesses, uh, affidavit, and other uh, required documents. Law enforcement uh, personnel can be security uh, administrators, uh, greatest ally uh, in the war uh, on computer crime. And it is uh, therefore important to get uh, to know your local and state uh, uh, counterparts, uh, the counterparts uh, that can help you uh, in uh, uh, catching the suspected uh, person or uh, the suspected criminal in the case. On the downside, once a law enforcement agency takes over uh, a case, the organization loses complete control over the chain of events and the collection of information and uh, evidence. In addition, they will uh, uh, lose the uh, persecution of a suspect. They will not be able to do anything because now the law enforcement is the one responsible to do that. Uh, the organization may not hear about the case for weeks or even months. Uh, also, equipment vital to the organization's business may be tagged as evidence to be removed and stored uh, and may be even preserved until it can be examined for possible support for criminal case, which might impact major business functions. However, uh, if the organization detects a criminal act, it's a legal obligation to involve the uh, appropriate law enforcement officials. That will be all for this session. Uh, thank you and have a great day.